when I was 21. What's going on guys, Kooks46 here, bringing you another episode of MLB The Show 17 Dream Cards. This is a series where we talk about all the different types of cards that we want to see in MLB The Show 17, whether they are rookie flashbacks, prime flashbacks, legends, or any other type, this is where we discuss them. If you guys did not see the last episode, make sure you go check that out. We talked about Andrew Jones, Garrett Anderson, and John Smoltz. And in this episode, I decided to take three viewer suggestions this week, and we're going to get right into it. Guys, really quick, if you are enjoying the Dream Card series and you are loving it, make sure you hit that like button on this video. Let's try and get this video to 100 likes. That'd be really awesome. But let's go ahead and get into the cards. I decided to not do my own pick this week. I decided to do three viewer suggestions, but it ended up being all three picks that were that I chose from the viewer suggestions just happened to all be pitchers this week. So we're not even going at the plate today. We are going straight from the rubber. We are going three pitchers on the mound. First one is one of the most famous pitchers of all time, one of the greatest of all time. He's a Hall of Famer. He's a World Series champion. And with the Atlanta Braves, he had one of the best stretches of like six or seven seasons that a pitcher could have. We got a bunch of suggestions for this guy, and he's been suggested many times on other Dream Cards videos. And now is finally the time where he gets his shine. We're talking about Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox had an extraordinary career with the Atlanta Braves. He also played a little bit with the Cubs. He also played a little bit with the Dodgers. He had, he had a bunch of different teams that he kind of jumped around to in the end of his career. But the main big part of his career was with the Braves and this very last couple years with the Cubs. This guy was an eight-time All-Star, a four-time Cy Young winner, an 18-time Gold Glove winner, and simply one of the best pitchers the Atlanta Braves have ever had on their roster. And guys, I know Legend cards don't have years on them. That was a comment that was addressed in the last video. Like, I understand Legend cards don't have years, but I really enjoy uh, highlighting one specific year to try and just give you guys a taste of, like, why this guy was so special in this specific time so that's why I kinda like try to highlight years instead of doing career numbers so you could honestly do any of Greg Maddox uh, Atlanta years but I decided to go with 1995 because I think that's his best year 19 and 2 record 1.63 ERA in 209 innings pitched he had 181 strikeouts and a 0 0.8 whip he was an all-star he won the Cy Young and in 1995 he won the World Series this guy just had an overall amazing career. He won the Cy Young four straight years. He was an all-star for like six straight years or five straight or something like that. And like I said earlier, 18-time Gold Glove winner. This dude is one of the best fielding pitchers the game has ever seen. I think with all those stats, it's pretty safe to say that he's going to be at least a 97. You can make a case for a 98 or a 99. This guy's going to be one of the best pitchers that you could have on your roster. And I would have no problem giving this guy a 99. I'm just saying at least he's going to be a 97. So one of those three numbers, 97, 98, 99, either one of those is going to be an amazing card. So I'm going to say just somewhere in that range, let's just say, let's just say 98 and keep it right in the middle. But 100% a 99 case could be made and you could totally convince me that he'd be a 99 overall. So Greg Maddox is the first pick for this week, boys. Let's go ahead and move on to the next. The next pick for this week, obviously, like we said earlier, is going to be another pitcher, but this time we are going to the bullpen. We're going with another closing pitcher, somebody who has kind of fallen off and I really wish he had enough because this guy was so fun to watch when he was in his prime. He was so energetic. And it's too bad to see his fall from grace. It was kind of funny. This guy was not suggested for like the first seven or eight videos. And then out of nowhere, the last like few videos, he's been killing it in the comments. We're talking about Brian Wilson from the Giants. So Brian Wilson, I think he's still an active player. He just hasn't been on a team for like two years or a year and a half or so. I'm not sure the last team he was on was obviously the Dodgers. So I guess you could call this a flashback. I don't like it's it's not really a legend card. So it's kind of hard for me to make the determination there because let me let me know if, if Brian Wilson did in fact retire or if he just is looking for a deal looking for a contract or something like that because that kind of gets a little hazy with the flashback legend type of deal and I don't really want to give Brian Wilson a legend card so I'm just gonna go ahead and say a 2010 Brian Wilson flashback would be pretty cool 2010 with the San Francisco Giants he had a 1.81 ERA with 48 saves he blew five saves which is kind of eh. It was, it's not really a, a great spot on his record, but still, he saved 48 games for him. That's pretty damn good. He struck out 93 batters in 74.2 innings pitched. He was an all-star. He had a whip of 1.179, finished 7th place in the Cy Young voting, and he was the World Series champion that year with the 2010 Giants. 
He also had the giant beard there going for him, the fear, the beard, you know, the, the Brian Wilson shirts that you could get. So he, he kind of just had that charisma. He kind of had that energy that when you knew he was coming in, it was going to be a big deal just because of the intensity he brought to the team, the intensity he brought out of the bullpen. It was He was a big deal. He was a big part of their world championship team. I'm not sure what I would give him because at the end of his career, he kind of went off. And this kind of goes off what we were saying earlier. Is this going to be a flashback or a legend? And I'm going with flashback. So I'm going to say 2010 flashback. I'm going to give him a 95. I'm going to give him anywhere between a 93 or 95, but I'm going to stick with the higher one at 95 because those five blown saves are kind of a red flag to me. And like I was saying earlier that he saved 48 out of 53, and 48 is still a great number of saves. But those five blown saves, man, what if those came at the wrong time and it was like, like you know, a bad game or... It cost him like a spot in the in the division standings or whatever. It's like those five games can be a pretty big deal if they don't actually come back and win later on. Also, the whip is a little bit higher than I'd like it to be, but it's still a pretty good whip. 1.179 is a solid whip. I'm just saying it's a little bit higher than I'd like it for a closer who's only supposed to have one inning of work. So I'm going to say 93 to a 95, somewhere around there. I don't think he's anything over a 95, but this guy is going to be a pretty solid card in your bullpen, and I think he should have a card in M. MLB The Show 17. Alright guys, last pick for this week. We're going to talk about another extremely exciting pitcher to watch. This is for my fans of the AL Central and a team that doesn't really have a lot going for them right now. And this is a good way for you guys to reminisce on the past about one of the best pitchers that has ever come into the organization of the Minnesota Twins. This guy has been suggested a couple times on every video, so it's about time that he finally gets his moment. I'm talking about Johan Santana. He was a left-hander, but he was scary, man. He kind of had a really quick release, and he, the ball would just fire out of his hand. He was so fun to watch. You can never take your eyes off of him when he was on the mound. I remember playing with him in MVP Baseball 2005 when the Twins were at the Metrodome, and he was one of the best players in the game simply because he just, he had everything. He was so good back then. If we're taking a look at his specific season, I'm going to take 2004. He went 20-6 and six with a 2.61 ERA in 228 innings pitched. He struck out 265 batters. He had a whip of under 1, 0 0.92. That's very impressive. He won the Cy Young. He finished 6th place in the MVP voting. I have no idea how he was not an all-star this year, but he didn't he wasn't there and to me that's that's a crime this dude was amazing should have definitely had been an all-star should have represented the American League in that game and later on in his career he went with the Mets and he threw a no hitter with the Mets which was a pretty big deal because he never got one in Minnesota so it's like oh damn he got one in New York he finally got his I remember watching that that was a crazy fun game to watch and I was just so happy for him because it's like you know he's he was one of the best players in the Twins organization at the time never really got it and then he finally got to New York and he was able to make it happen so pretty pretty awesome uh, moment there in my baseball like you know memories in terms of his numbers if we're talking about 2004 like in his if we're talking about his Minnesota years I'm gonna give him like a 96 his career actually wasn't that long he only played about 10 11 years or something like that 12 years I think he's a super solid left-handed pitcher gonna be very good for a lot of rotations and I think he'd be a highly coveted card so I'm gonna say like a 96 overall for Johan Santana so there you guys have it those are the three cards we talked about this week we had Greg Maddox Brian Wilson and Johan Santana let me know what you guys thought about these cards down in the comments below and make sure to leave your suggestions for next week's video And thank you guys so much for all the comments you're already leaving It makes this series way fun when I get to go through that many comments and just see all the different opinions and all the different ideas Makes this series just a lot more enjoyable for myself and you guys also debated a little bit in the comments too So it just provides a lot of good healthy baseball discussion baseball debate Just something to get us even more excited for MLB the show 17 So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of MLB the show 17 dream cards if you did you know what to do hit that like button down below like i said let's try to get this video to 100 likes make sure you guys subscribe so you never miss any episodes of the dream card series and guys that's all i have for you today so i hope you enjoyed it until the next video i will see you later